guys Debbie here today's video is going to be a shop my stash I wanted to use up some of my older makeup and bring those back into my rotation I think it's important as a youtuber to do that and to show you that it's not all about the new and that you know there's some amazing items in our collection that are barely used and I just want to get some use out of them and show you guys what you can do with them so I think what really generated the idea for what I want to do today is that I bought something new and, and it was earlier on in the year I bought the Suva UV Bright and I just want to use it with everything I'm really enjoying doing some graphic liner at the moment so I'm going to bring it back some pastels which aren't my favourite but add some graphic liner details in this look and I think it will make it a lot more creative a lot more me and get some use out of lots of other things as well and sort of show you my base routine as it is at the moment because I've really been enjoying certain things at the moment that I've been doing so yeah it'll be a lot of fun I think so starting with a completely bare face and we're going to do the whole thing together so might be a bit of a longer video you might need to grab a drink and a snack and put your feet up for this one but let's get started <laughs> Okay, so we're going to start with foundation. I've got my moisturiser on, but nothing else. I don't really use primer, but I am going to go in with a skin illuminator. I've been loving this product. This is awesome. It's got enough of a sheen and a glow to it to liven up matte foundations. I'm somebody that likes a bit of a glow on my skin. I just think it just makes me look a bit more healthy. I wish I could do matte foundation, but it just accentuates the cracks and crevices a little bit more, and I think fair play to anyone that can make it work but I just prefer myself with glowy skin and I just really really love this product I'm just gonna massage it in with my fingers because that's really all it needs I think just to use it almost like a moisturizer but just as a layer for makeup like a glowy filter but yeah it sinks in super easily it doesn't have any color to it as such it just really makes you shiny. I'm going to look too shiny at the moment until I've got the, the foundation on. And I'm going to go in with a Juvia's Place Stick Foundation. It's been a while since I've busted this one out. I want to get some use out of it. It's in the shade Nicaragua. Stick foundations aren't really my favourite. They do kind of drag on your skin a little bit. But it is quite a good coverage on this one and it's a good colour for me as well. I just feel like you need quite a bit of it to make any sort of difference so that looks like a hell of a lot but once it's blended out it'll be fine my favorite brush to blend out foundation at the moment is the jh12 by jacqueline hill and morphe i really like this foundation brush i like it better i think than the sigma flat top kabuki f80 which used to be my my holy grail but i like this one it's just a little bit flatter so that you can sort of get it closer underneath your eyes not flatter on the top but sort of flatter on the sides here and it's super soft so definitely one of my favorites i was using a sponge to apply my foundation for a little while but i've decided i like the effect with a brush a lot better so i'm back with the brush again So how have you guys been doing while well, I'm putting all my base on? I always have a bit more like, attention to be able to chat with you guys and I'm going to concentrate on what I look I'm doing. So I thought I'd ask you now, how are you doing? I'm fine. I went for my first COVID vaccination today. I was terrified. I'm needle phobic. So it really was a big deal for me. And they were so lovely. Our NHS is just the best in the world I mean isn't it they're, they're amazing people I think they said they're doing 17,000 there today and the amount of attention and care they gave to each person that came in was just incredible that was so nice all right I'm going to go in with concealer I'm going to use the revolution conceal and hydrate I don't have a dubious place concealer I always like to match my concealer to my foundation if I've got the same one I don't know why I do that but that's what I do but I didn't buy that it's super sad to me that Juvia's Place aren't on Beauty Bay anymore because that's where I used to buy a lot of my Juvia's Place. And now they're not on there anymore, so I'm buying a bit less. <laughs> I'm buying less anyway because I'm on a low buy slash no buy. 
I probably would have bought a bit more if they were on Beauty Bay because it's just easier. Although they were always a bit more expensive on Beauty Bay anyway. But I'm just going in with that concealer just on the areas where I feel like I need to conceal. Like these eye bags because I didn't sleep last night worrying about my parent job. <laughs> It's ridiculous, isn't it? Our anxiety can take over and you just worry about the most ridiculous things. It was over in five minutes. It was literally nothing to be worried about. The worrying about things, it's always worse than the actual things for me. And just wish I could stop myself doing that because I tried to tell myself, you know, it's all gonna be fine. You've been through similar things before. Just don't know why I'm like that. Is anyone else like that? Like just get anxious about things that you know everybody else can cope with fine and you just feel like you're making a big fuss about nothing. That's how I felt today. Particularly after it was done and it was nothing. It was just so easy. I've had no symptoms yet, no dead arm, no nothing. Maybe I'll wake up tomorrow and feel terrible so I thought I'll film this video for you guys today. Right, next step then. I've been absolutely loving the Milk Makeup Bronze Stick in Baked. It's incredible. I was so like hesitant to use a cream bronzer for so long because I thought it's going to just make this big streak on your face you'll never be able to blend out but that's not the case with this product at all and you can go in reasonably heavy straight out of the tube and it looks like you've got loads on and I'm super pale and that looks a scary amount of bronzer but it will blend out really nicely. I use a Real Techniques brush, contour brush to do it and it just disappears into your skin and blends really, really nicely, but just gives you that bronzed flush if that's what you're looking for. I like a bit of contour at the moment. And I think this kind of works under your makeup because then you're putting the powder over the top and dampening everything down anyway, so you don't really see a great deal of it, but it just gives that shape to your face and a bit of health to it. I'm going to look quite so ghostly pale. You see that's that's disappeared pretty much. It blends so easily and it's such a nice product. You get way too much of it though. I'm going to be using this up for the rest of my life I think. I definitely should have bought the smaller one. Okay for powder, the KVD translucent powder, the locket powder, just become my favourite just lately. I just really enjoy this powder because I'm going in with lots of glowy products underneath. I need a bit more of a mattifying powder to, to stop me being a grease ball really. <laughs> I'm pretty shiny until I do that. Whereas I used to go in with very matte foundation products and then try and get the glow from the powder. I'm kind of doing it the opposite way around but either works for me. But I really like this powder. It's pretty undetectable when it's on. It is truly translucent, it hasn't got any colour to it. I just really enjoy it. So now I'm just setting everywhere pretty much that I've put makeup, but I'm really trying to set the areas that have become super shiny. I want that glow, but I don't want too much shine. I don't bake though, because that really dries my under eyes, but, but I do like to set my under eyes. And I don't like a glowy nose, so we're trying to get rid of that as well. I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera. I always do the same thing. I'm super boring. I always use the Infinity Palette from Linda Halberg. It's looking disgusting and dirty, but it works for me. So I'm just going to whiz through that and then I'll be back with you to carry on with the makeup look. Okay, brows are on. They're not looking the greatest today. Some days are just easier than others with brows and it wasn't a good brow day today, but they're on. That's the main thing. So I'm going to go in with powder contour now and I'm going to use the Charisma Contour Palette in Cool and Light by Kaleidos Makeup. Really enjoy this one. And the brush I'm using is the Soft Angled Contour by Sigma. Just letting the brush do the work. And I want to use our orangey blush today so I think using a slightly warmer contour like this is will probably be okay. Going for a bit more bronzed and glowy look today. 
for blush today. I'm going to use an Anastasia blush. Got this one in TK Maxx a couple of years ago. I haven't used it very much. It's one of their blush trios. It's in the shade Peachy Love. It's a beautiful peachy shade. So I'm going to mix these two together. The only thing I don't like about this is the pans are too small to get a decent sized blush brush in. So I end up always mixing them together. But it's a nice colour. I'm going to kind of blush drape this so that it comes from the eye and round. I'm going to go pretty heavy with the blush. But it is a super pretty colour, particularly when those two are mixed together. I really want to take it around my temples and onto my cheeks, as I say, so that my eyeshadow kind of blends into my blush. I've been loving that just lately. I really wanted to do something orangey, so that's what we're doing. You can never have too much blush because it disappears really, really quickly, so I like a fair bit. For highlight today, I'm going to dig out the Dream Palette from Anastasia. It's been a long time since I've used this, a couple of years, got to be. I used to adore this, you can see by the, the state of it. <laughs> but we're going to use the orangey shade in here, Regal. It's a really sparkly, you guys know I like a sparkly highlight. I'm going to use it sort of as a blush topper. Once these are blended into the skin, they do look less glittery and more wet, but there is still quite a lot of visible glitter in these. So if you don't like a glittery highlight, this one's not for you and I guess you wouldn't have bought it. I don't think it's available anymore anyway. But the summer I bought this, I just used it to death. I absolutely loved it. Just want to mash everything together now and just kind of make it a bit more seamless. And so we're ready for the eyes. So I'm going to use the Pastel Pup from Menagerie, this one here. I've never had an outing on camera this one. I've used it once off camera and that's it. So it was high time I used it. I'm gonna use the shade Fishy, this orangey one from the palette, but I wanna be able to deepen it up a little bit. So I decided I'm gonna pull out the Sugar Pill Mini Color palette and I'm gonna use the reddish orange in this palette, which is called Game Over, to deepen it up. And we're also gonna use a Super Shock shadow for a bit of glitz on the lid as well. Now, because I'm using pastels, I'm going to go in with the Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk from NYX because that gives it the best base to show up. And it's largely going to be a matte look, but with just a little bit of sparkle added over the top. So I am going to take this over pretty much the whole of my lid and crease and blend it out super fast because if you don't, you'll stand no chance of blending it out. So other than doing my makeup channel, which I've only really been doing at weekends, I've not been doing an awful lot else other than watching some TV. I just literally can't wait now until we can start doing some things again. Just going out for a meal, like we had a takeaway the other day. My husband's got a new job and we were like, it would be lovely to go out and celebrate him getting that. but. We had takeaway pizza from Domino's, <laughs> but it was still quite nice. It was a treat. We haven't done anything to sort of treat ourselves really. But just to be able to like let someone else do the cooking and go out, or we love to go to the movies, but we like to go like super early in the morning when there's no one there. I love having the cinema to myself. And in the meantime though, we've been watching lots of Netflix. I've just started the series The Fall, Gillian Anderson in. Husband hates it because you know who the serial killer is from the very first episode, but it's all about his psyche and what makes him do it. I'm finding it fascinating, honestly, but, but yeah, I'm watching that one on my own. <laughs> right, we're gonna go in with the Pastel Pup, and I think I'm gonna use a combination of the shades Snack, this one here, and Fishy. So to begin with, I just wanna put Fishy all over my lids, which sounds the weirdest thing to say. Wow. See, that's way brighter than I expected. 
wasn't sure I was going to like these because, as I say, pastels are not really my favourite, but I should know that Menagerie are going to do justice to them because they have amazing quality. Have any of you picked up the Flight Club palette, the one with the bat theme, the purple one? Oh, it looks so beautiful. I love purple eyeshadow and I really wanted to get it, but they're not shipping to the UK still. Getting a fair bit of fallout, but the good thing about it is it's orange and it's gonna just blend into my blush, so had a good plan there. So yeah, taking that pretty much everywhere. It's gonna be a simple to achieve look, but we're gonna put some graphic detail in afterwards. I just really wanna pack on that, that shade. And the same thing on the other eye, but I'm really liking the tone of that, it's super pretty. I don't know whether I need the snack shade, I might not need that, I might use that on the lower lash line actually. It's super powdery in the pan. Now that's packed on, just want to blend the edges a bit. In fact I might take another shade to blend blend the edges. I'm going to take the sunbathe shade, this yellow, to blend the edges. Yeah, applying it like that you can barely see it, but I just mean I won't have a stark white brow, which is never attractive. The other thing that I really can't wait to do is to have my hair done. I think the last time I went was in December, so my roots are probably two or three inches long now, which is why I'm wearing a lot of hair bands trying to hide it, because when you see the, the line of the roots, it looks really bad. But I thought I'll let the rush die down a little bit. I know there's going to be so many people want to go and get their hair done now, because as I say, they've been close since December in the UK. And I'm not somebody that's got the talent to colour my own hair, as I've said before. But it's funny, it's not bothering me as much as it was last year. Like, I got very self-conscious about the grey roots last year. Now I'm just like, whatever, everyone's in the same boat, aren't they? Right, I'm going to go in with Game Over from this palette. And a Morphe M506, because they're the best, and I love them. I'm going to tap that off, and that's going to go just as a bit of definition in my crease. So it's not a completely pastel look, I guess. I think if I don't bring some sort of definition in, your eye just looks really kind of flat. I just think it makes the difference just to have that little bit of crease work down. But I did it afterwards, because sometimes I'll lay down the, the deepest colour first, so I did it afterwards just so that it still maintains the kind of vibe I'm after, which is very soft. They look really nice together. See that's something that if you're reviewing new products you don't kind of get to do is to use different products together in this way. But that's kind of how I like to do my makeup is pulling in things from all over the place so I don't want to be just tied down to using one palette always. Just trying to get this to blend in my crease and just to look seamless from the orange to the yellow now. Might need a little bit more of that original shade or I might bring in high score this one here actually. Yeah, let's dip into high score. I'm using the same brush just using that just to blend around the edges a little bit. Yeah that's definitely helping with the blend. Never used to care about blending I'm starting to really work on my blending now. I think it's just taking make it to the next level when you really learn how to blend and I've found it so difficult to learn. I'm definitely more about the colour combos than I've ever been about the blending. And I don't think anyone, as I've said before, will come up to you and go, oh you haven't got that very perfectly blended, you know, <laughs> but, but I think it's all about just like elevating the artistry a little bit, getting it a bit more perfect, is what I've always strive to do. Someone revving their engine up outside if you can hear anything. It always happens as soon as I go to film. <laughs> it's Sunday afternoon and that's when everybody's out working on their cars and motorbikes around this estate. 
Right, for the lower lash line, I want to keep things orange there as well. I'm going to go in with Likeable Mood by Linda Halberg in my waterline. And I'm going to go in with the Game Over shade. Keep that pretty close to my lashes on my lower lash line. I love this little palette. Anything with small pans like this, I'm all about it. Like, I love the size of the Colourpop pans in there. 12 pan palettes, I think they're just the perfect size. Easy to hold and not too much product wasted for somebody that's got lots of eyeshadow. To blend out the lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with Snack. It's a little bit more pinky, but I just thought I might add another dimension in there. Yeah, that's pretty, like that. I'm not hating this, but I think I'm cheating because I'm not really making it too pastel make a really pretty blush colour. Sort of blending it at this corner with that snack shade. I'm impressed how well these are blending actually because pastels don't blend that well normally. Right so I'm going to go in with a bit of glitz on the lids because I don't want to keep it completely a matte look so I'm going to go in with Colourpop Salter. It's from the Dream Marie Vault. I'm just going to use my fingers to apply that one. I think it's better for the Super shock shadows to do it like that. I'm just literally just applying a little bit of glitz just to the centre of the lid there. I don't know if it's really making a huge amount of difference if I'm honest with you. Okay, so we need to ground this look now because it's too pastel for me. So I'm going to do a little black wing, but I'm going to accent it with the orange shade from the UV Brights palette, which is super, super bright. So I think that's going to look amazing, which is this one here. I don't even think it's coming off on camera quite as colourful as it really is. So you've seen me do a wing liner before, just going to whiz through that. I want this to be quite a big wing. I'm bringing it up quite high, like not outwards, but higher up. Something along those lines, it's perhaps a little bit too puny, I might need it a little bit bigger. There we go. So I'm just going to quickly do a wing on the other eye. Okay, wings are on, but I want to do a graphic line here, sort of connecting into my nose, and then line the top and bottom of the wing, I think, with that bright orange today. I think that could look cool. I want to get the pastel one and also the primaries one of these palettes. I know there's other ones on the market but I just really like these Suva ones and having them in a palette without too much product is perfect. Right, I think we've got the right consistency. So, doing a line kind of like that. I want it to go up to my brow. like that. Now we've just got to replicate it on the other eye. So now I'm just going to accent the wing with the same colour. It's very difficult to show you what I'm doing doing this because I always have to hold my eye down but hopefully you can see what I've achieved there. It's not perfect but I still think it looks good. And then I'm going to add two more lines and I might live to regret this but I'm going to add two more on the lower lash line. So I'm going to do black first, just a little line of black. And I'm going to 
accent that underneath with the orange. Okay guys, that's the eyes to this point. I think I need something highlighty in this inner corner. I'm wondering about adding a little bit of white actually there, just some white matte. So I'm gonna go in with Saddleback from this palette, this one here. And I'm just gonna just add that as a little accent of white in the inner corner. Yeah, I think it needed something just to brighten up that inner corner. And sometimes, rather than a sparkly inner corner, a matte can work just as well. But actually, I'm gonna take that white pretty much up to where that graphic line is. Just to really open the eye in that inner corner. Okay, so that's the look to this point. Just gonna hop off camera for mascara and a lip and I'll be back with you to show you the finished look. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I finished it off with Bad Girl Bang Mascara. Particularly heavy focus on the lower lashes there, just to bring a little bit of drama there. And then my lips are a combo. I've gone in with an Urban Decay Vice lipstick in the shape of version in the outer corners of my lips. And then a KVD Vegan Beauty Studied Kiss lipstick in the shade of Go Go in the centre. And yeah, I really love how this turned out. These are the sort of videos that I love to do. Love to just have a bit of a makeup playtime, shop my stash and get creative with what I have. So if you're new to my channel and you're not yet subscribed and you think this is the sort of content you might enjoy, I would absolutely love to have you. But thank you so much if you've made it to this point. I know it's a bit of a longer video, this one, because it was a full face. So I really do appreciate if you've watched to the end. And I hope you guys are having a lovely day or night wherever you are. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.